Hey, what's up guys? Ed Jason is here. Sorry if you can hear the background noise. I'm currently in my garage just chilling because it's a pretty nice day outside. Um, before I get started talking about the shoe, um, there's that free Discord cook group that I always like to mention before the video starts. It's completely free. It's going to be down in the description below if you want to join up. Just go ahead. It's an amazing Discord cook group that will help you cop immensely. So, you know. Um, but let's get into today's video. We are talking about the Chunky Dunkies SB Dunk Clothes Time and Span and Jerry's. If you guys don't know what Ben and Jerry's, I mean, you should by now, but it's an ice cream company. They give some premium high quality ice cream. That's why if you go to Walmart, they're kind of pricey. I think it's like four, five dollars, six dollars for like a pint or something. I'm not 100% sure. I haven't ate their ice cream in a long while because it's kind of expensive. I just be getting the little cheap ice cream. When I first saw this SB Dunk, I was like, what the heck is this? I'm just gonna read a little bit of the shoe on the Nike sneaker side. It says, blue skies, bobbinies, and green pastures all appear in familiar form, while colorful tie-dye patterns and bold text graphics cover the shoe's insoles and heel. And it says, dip into this delicious edition before it gets gobbled up. So, there's a lot of things going on in the shoe. It has a yellow Nike mustard swoosh with little ripples coming down. I guess it's supposed to be like an ice cream effect. Looks pretty cool. It comes with, the, you can see like the little hills, the little valleys um, in the middle of the shoe and the blue skies, which is, you know, the baby blue color. And it's supposed to be like a scenery. And then it comes with the cow hide, which actually you can feel it. It's like cow hide, like I said. Um, and white laces, it makes it look pretty crispy. And the tie dye, um, insole so overall the shoe is crazy um, I heard that on the 23rd of this month they are going to be releasing in selected skate shops so I'm pretty sure I'm gonna leave a link down below so you can check out the Nike skate shops and you know where these might go you might want to call up your skate shops during this quarantine stuff it might be harder to actually cop and I don't know how all that releasing is gonna work um, but these are releasing on the 26th on the Nike sneakers app at 9 of the morning for $100 retail. I'm pretty sure that's the only way you're going to be able to cop these unless you have a skate shop that's close to you. Um, but they're not selling anywhere like at um, Foot Locker, Foot Action, like none of that. They don't get these type of hyped collaborations like that. Um, and, you know, you can check the SNS, SVD uh, apps, you know, they might always have them. But overall, this shoe is definitely a cop. And I actually hopped on Stock X, and crazy thing, man, is that these are going for like a thousand dollars. I'm pretty sure these are going to be as hyped as a Travis Scott SBs or any like Heineken's Paris. But that's like too hyped. Like Paris Dunks are going for like 25k or even higher. Um, but I'm pretty sure these are going to be hyped up as much as the Travis Scotts. Um, they're really selling for a thousand. But I really feel like the price is gonna plummet down. It just depends on the quantity of these shoes. Like if there's a bunch, like prices are gonna go down. But if these are like super limited and everybody strokes out on them, prices are gonna st still be at the 1,000 mark. So if you're lucky enough to cop, you just made yourself some big bank. Unless you just wanna cop them for um, wear them nothing wrong with that either other than that guys i don't have anything else to say these are definitely a cop you should go for them and uh, i wish all of y'all best of luck and i'll uh, see you guys later